You know, first and foremost, you know, I, lo I love these, uh, the Big East, Big 12 battle. Right? It's great for both leagues. It's hard to get good games at times. It seems like a lot of people don't want to play each other. Um, this relationship's been tremendous for, I think, both leagues. Gives us an opportunity to come into a great environment here at Oklahoma State, uh, which we may have not had otherwise, right? Um, Coach Boynton does a tremendous job. I said that kind of going into the game. We knew what we were going to have to deal with. And he does a great job, and they play really, really hard. And they are very disruptive. They turn you over like crazy. I think we finished with 17 turnovers. Um, that's what they do, though. And I told our group kind of heading to the game, the, the word of the game was poise that we needed to have. We knew that they were going to throw a punch. They were going to respond. That's all good teams do. I thought our group uh, stayed together. And uh, we were unflappable tonight. But really proud of our group. This was the first tr true road win of the year for us. It's the first true road game that we've had. So just really proud of our group. Travis, what did you think the difference was in the second half compared to the first half? You know, I thought we uh, switched up defenses a little bit in the second half, Adam. You know, I saved our 2-3 zone uh, for the second half, kind of later into the game. I had it in our back pocket. I thought they were dominating us around the rim early on in the first half. You know, they were driving us. Um, they were hitting, got the roller at the rim on pick and rolls. Um, they were posting the ball way too easy. And, and they dominated the game. Listen, in the first half. So we made the adjustment. We switched a little bit more one through five on ball screen coverage to help get rid of that roll. Um, we also went a lot more 2-3 zone as well, depending upon who was in the game for us. And I thought that threw them out of rhythm on that end. And I thought offensively, um, I thought our guys played with really good poise. We had about six turnovers in a, in a small stretch there in the first half. That's when they we were up at that point, and they got back in the game real quick. And they're a team that can do that. Listen, they go on big runs because of the way that they play. And uh, I, thought, I thought second half we did a much better job taking care of the ball, staying poised. Colby Jones and Paul and Dewan and those guys were tremendous. Um, I mean, they were picking up full court, being near every possession, and uh, making things really hard on our guys. So the, the expectation coming into this game was that you knew you were going to throw some zone at them, or was this more a product of the moment and like, hey, I think we need to try this? You know, I kind of had, like, in our back pocket, I thought the adjustment we could make was go switch one through five a little bit. That was going to be kind of the first adjustment. Then the third, the second one would be zone. And we haven't played zone to this point in the year. This, this is the first time we played zone. We've been working on it, right, every day in practice because we've got to work on our zone offense. It um, gives us something to work against. But, um, but yeah, we, we knew I kind of wanted to save it a little bit later in the game to kind of throw the team out of rhythm so that maybe they could make an adjustment at halftime um, otherwise. Was this, with you saving it, seeing how Oklahoma State had kind of had trouble with other zone defenses, was that something that came into factor like this game was really the one you wanted to save it for? Yeah, you know, you, you watch all their games, right? I've, I've watched every single game they played all year. Um, you know, Wichita State, I thought, threw them out of rhythm as well. They were going a lot of 2-2-1 two, two, press back to 2-3. Um, and that's why we went. We tried to save it for a little bit later. So I knew kind of going into the game it could be a good look for us. You also went small, and I know Jack Dungey got into a little bit of foul trouble, but did, did you like what you saw from that smaller lineup with three at the five and Colby at the four and how they were able to compete? And you still won on the glass, so. Yeah, I, I thought our guys, Oklahoma State's a really, really good offensive rebounding team. They're 35th in the country uh, heading into tonight's game. We got rebounded on. They're big, they're long, they're athletic, they play hard. Uh, our guys fight. Our guys fight. You know, we may have been smaller, um, but our guys leave it all out there. Uh, our guys fight for the ball. So, um, but the, it was a good look for us. Listen, playing small at times, man. We want to because especially against Oklahoma State, we need as we needed as many ball handlers on the floor as you possibly could get because they deny everything. You have to play north and south. You can't play east and west against Oklahoma State. So we kind of knew we'd probably have to go some small ball here in this game. But I liked it for us. Were there any noticeable differences or any changes to the plan offensively in the second half? I think you guys shot like 16% better in the second half than you did in the first half. Yeah, I, I thought we were getting really good looks. I kept on telling our guys, listen, play off the two feet. Use their aggressiveness against them. Right, That, that creates your offense. Right, And, and we had to space them. So I didn't think our spacing in the first half was as good as it was in the second half. I always say spacing uh, leads to really good decisions. Right? When, when it's cluttered out there on the floor, it leads to bad decisions. And I thought our space was a lot better in the second half.